Hey guys, day before the weekend and I'm about to take my snake out of the cage and do a shed bath on him because he's having some issues with his skin. Um, I've never done it before so it might be interesting. Not a whole lot of exciting stuff went on with me today. Uh, so let's get around to checking out my snake and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so this is my snake. He is, uh, like I said, a Colombian boa. Um, so let's see if we can get him out of the cage here without getting attacked. I used to take him out of the cage quite often. Um, get out of here. But uh, he doesn't like my dog, so he would be fine chilling with me. And then as soon as my dog would come around, he would start just going ham on me because I guess he would smell him or something like that. I'm not really sure. So if you see, you can see near his head there, the skin is having a really hard time coming off. It's been like that for a couple weeks now, so I was waiting to see if uh, there'd be any change, but there's not any change yet, so we're going to try to uh, help him out here. So it's saying um, 16 ounces of water per 10 milliliters of Shetty's, which is this product. So there's a measuring cup attached to the top. I'm sure I can just take 10 milliliters of it that way. Whew. It smells like vodka. Okay, so we got 16 ounces of water. I'm gonna pour that in. And uh, I'm gonna measure up 10, 10, mil, milliliter, 10 milliliters of this. very much. He's hanging out. All right, so I'm actually surprised. As soon as I dropped him in the water, he just uh, went straight to chilling out. So, that's kind of cool. But you can see what I was talking about earlier. I don't know if I can get a good shot of it. You see the skin around his neck? So I'm going to try to maybe put some water up there for him. Here. That's what I'm at right now. Can you see it? Giant. So I'm having to put this on a bucket on tilt because it's he's too fat. It's not getting to the upper side of his body. And I actually have to do this for 20 minutes. I have to keep him submerged so that it penetrates the top layer of skin and uh, it slips off. So I'm just going to keep fighting with him here for a few minutes and uh, let's see how it works. He's chilling. I found a sweet spot now. So I'm going to let him chill for 20 minutes and uh, we'll be back and see how it works.
So look at Lanza. He knows. He never gets close to the snake. He he knows. I don't know if he smells them or he's always freaked out of them. That's why I actually don't take him out of the cage as much as I, I, I would like to. Uh, and then the snake smells my dog and it freaks him out. So they just, they don't get along with each other, obviously. I mean, they wouldn't, but it's just that to keep them separated, you know? All right, so I just tried to take him out of the bin and uh, so far, not so good. Uh, I think it's hurting him. Like, I was just trying to help take the skin off. I know not to peel it off, but I was trying to help him out a little bit, and uh, I don't think he was liking it very much. I think it was stinging or hurting or something. So I'm going to let him soak for a little while longer than what they suggest, and uh, I'll go from there. I don't know. So I'm out there saying that the snake stuff smells like burning plastic. Meanwhile, it's actually my fridge melting because I have this light down here like this. Luckily, I didn't burn my freaking apartment down. Look at that. There's nothing even on the light bulb. It was just from the, the heat trapped inside as it was sitting there. It's fucking crazy. But uh, I didn't really have much luck with my snake. I'm just... I put him back in. He was he was getting real pissed off at me. So I'm just going to hope that basically he gets it off himself. Put him in put him in and I'll I'll check back uh, in the morning.